In this video, I want to do a percent yield example. In this question, we're told that 7 grams of silver nitrate is added to excess sodium bromide solution, and 7.3 grams of silver bromide precipitate is collected. Calculate the percent yield of silver bromide. So the first thing that we need in order to solve this problem is a balanced chemical equation. And the balanced chemical equation for this reaction will be this. And just to jog our memory, uh, percent yield is equal to the actual mass divided by the theoretical mass times 100%. And in this question, we were also given an, a very important piece of information. We were told that the sodium bromide was in excess. And that in itself will simplify this, this problem quite a bit. Because the sodium bromide is in excess, that means that consequently the silver nitrate will be the limiting reagent. And therefore, the amount or the mass of sodium nitrate, or sorry, the, uh, the, the mass of uh, silver bromide form will be uh, directly related to the 7 grams of silver nitrate that we have. So 7 grams of silver nitrate is equal to 0 0.0412 moles of silver nitrate. So now we can do our calculation for the theoretical mass of silver bromide. And that will just be equal to our 0 0.0041 moles of the limiting reagent times the molar ratio of silver bromide and silver nitrate times the molar mass of silver bromide to give us the mass of silver bromide formed. And this mass silver bromide is 7.74 grams, which is the theoretical mass of silver bromide. So now that we have the, the theoretical mass, we can calculate the percent yield. And of course the percent yield will be the actual mass given to us in the question, which was 7.3 grams of silver bromide divided by the theoretical mass of silver bromide, which we calculated, times 100%. And if we do that calculation, we end up with a value of 90.8% yield of silver bromide.